I crafted the perfect evidence-based routine using every technique that Andrew Huberman advises in his podcast. And after following his routine, I got three times more work done, consistently got eight hours of sleep, and could bench press 100 extra pounds. It is literally the hack to become a better version of yourself. So to start, Huberman wakes up in his 65 degree room. Good morning, guys. I feel like it's excruciatingly cold right now. My AC only goes down to 68 degrees. So um, I kind of open the windows before going to bed and the temperature right now is 50 degrees. Okay, what do we do next? The first thing I do after I wake up is I take the pen and I write down the time in which I woke up. Huberman writes down his wake up time in order to calculate this term called temperature minimum. Your temperature minimum is typically two hours before your wake up time. And knowing my temperature minimum was so powerful that it doubled my productivity and sleep 10 times better. It literally saved my life. That's a bit dramatic, but here's the three ways on how I use temperature minimum to my advantage. First, I avoided any light three to six hours before my temperature minimum. Second, I got as much light in three to six hours after my temperature minimum. Boom. And third, that your best work is going to be done anywhere from four to six hours after your temperature minimum. So that's going to be in two hours. So what do we do until then? Forward ambulation. Sorry, what? What's a forward ambulation? It's just walking? Huberman goes for a 30 to 40 minute walk after waking. This is to reduce the amount of neural activity inside of our brain structure called the amygdala, whose main role is to detect fear, anxiety, and threat detection. Basically, you'll feel a lot less stressed by doing forward ambulation. But apparently hydration is another key aspect Huberman takes seriously. In the first 10 hours of your day, you should consume eight ounces of fluid. But Andrew says his secret to 10xing his brain capacity comes from half a tablespoon of sea salt water? I mean, when I asked ChatGPT about drinking salt water, he says that drinking salt water can overload your kidneys, increase your blood pressure, and cause cellular damage. What can possibly go wrong? Cheers. There are some questionable things Huberman does, and I think this was one of them. But luckily, Andrew sometimes uses electrolytes instead of salt water. No, yeah, this is 100 times better. Next, Huberman will expose himself to light, but apparently there's a specific area he wants to get light into. This is about exposure of your eyes, which set your circadian rhythms properly. Guys, the sun is non-existent at this hour. So an alternative we're gonna use is a 10,000 lux light. Um, it's a bright light, so I could just stare at it. And yeah. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You I felt like I was entering a whole new dimension potentially because my eyes were blinding. And while I was still disoriented, the next thing Huberman does is a cold plunge. I'm not gonna go do a cold plunge. Our water temperature is about 30 degrees. Huberman recommends immersing yourself in 45 to 60 degree temperature. Let's get going, it's actually cold. I felt like a real man inside of the cold. I felt very macho. I felt testosterone oozing inside of me until Huberman called me out for being a wimp. Get into the ice bath, and they'll look really stoic, like they're really tough. Mm -hmm. um, but actually that's the wimpy way to go through it. The really bold way is to get in and continue to sift your arms and legs and it ends up feeling miserably colder. I feel like a man now. And we're back. Everything we did this morning was to optimize this time of the day, our deep work session. To become a productivity machine, Huberman says he does this three-step protocol before work. First, 40 hertz binaural beats. Second, monitor above eye level. I think this is good. And third, a warm-up of staring at one spot for 60 seconds. Okay, let's get to work. The first five to 10 minutes of that 90 minutes are a transition time. It's like the warm up for focus, but I do include it in that 90 minutes. And then I really try and drop into doing focused mental work or learning of some sort, and you will feel some agitation and it's challenging to focus and you're feeling like you're not doing it right, chances are you're doing it right. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. Now it's time to cook our first meal. Andrew's first meal is typically a piece of grass-fed meat, three to four scrambled eggs, and some vegetables. I don't like the taste of vegetables, so an easy hack I use is to blend the broccolis and cauliflowers into a soup. 
That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we got our proteins and some even more proteins and some vegetables and a little more vegetables over here. Spent a long time like trying to make this egg right over here. It has some shrimp, green onions, onions. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Andrew says he doesn't need starchy carbohydrates for his first meal, mainly because it makes him feel sleepy throughout the day. So we're gonna see if that's true or not. Let's get started. And after finishing the food, I can 100% say I wasn't tired. So it was time for me to dress up and go work out. We are at the forest right now. Huberman applies this three to two protocol once it comes to his workout programming. Where for three of those five workouts per week emphasize strength and hypertrophy and the other two emphasize endurance. And what better thing to do than rucking? Oh, shit. Rucking is the action of walking with weights on your back. Essentially, we're gonna put in a 52.5 dumbbell inside of this gym bag. And we're gonna start rucking. Let's get started. Almost dropped it right there. That was my one commitment. Not setting this thing down. If I drop it, I drop it. The reason we quit is rarely because our body quits. Our mind quits. Workout complete. That was the most painful 30 minutes of my life. But apparently that's how it's supposed to be because Huberman says he likes to keep his workouts intense and short. The data all point to the fact that working out hard for longer than an hour can actually be detrimental because of the way that it raises cortisol. And do you know what's gonna lower my stress? Another meal. This is where Huberman goes all out and eat his carbohydrates. So we got some fruits and we got some nuts. Huberman says he loves snacking on these Brazil nuts. So, hmm. These are really good. I know it doesn't look like much, but apparently there's science behind this meal. Like the three rules Huberman follows for this meal is 25 grams of fiber, 500 to 600 grams of fruits or veggies, and last. If you eat a large volume of anything, because it diverts blood to your gut, you will feel lethargic and you will have less blood going to your brain. I might have skipped that part and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little tired right now. Oh my. Okay, I need to go brush my teeth. Glide down the side of the tooth, get a little bit underneath the gum, and use a circular motion, and then lift up. All right, just pulled up to my closet. We're doing some yoga nidra which literally means yoga sleep. It involves some long exhale breathing, which is very relaxing to the nervous system. We're gonna be doing a 20 minute yoga nidra session. Let's get started. Namaste. And this is a short yoga nidra nap to reset your nervous system. It felt like my brain was clearing out like unnecessary emotions in storage space. Please take your time to get completely comfortable resting on the support beneath your body. Like I was definitely less emotional about the decisions that I made throughout the day, leading to better decisions. Elbow. Yeah, I feel like my brain's cleared out. After Yoga Nidra, it was crazy how much more focused I was. But I would say one negative downside is it's a lot less hours of work you can do because of all these extra protocols, but I felt great going into my second deep work session, which is normally not the case. So I don't know if it's placebo, but compared to days where I would just sit in a computer for eight hours straight, I felt like I was getting more work done. All right, so deep work two is complete, but it turns out Andrew doesn't end his routine there. He finishes his day off with evening cardio. We're not gonna go do cardio. No, you thought I was gonna jump cut. All right, guys, we're gonna start a 6.6 .6 mile run. All right, three, two, one, go. I'm personally not a fan of evening cardio just because it raises my heart rate, which makes it harder for sleep. So we'll probably do an easy, low heart rate run, probably around 135 beats per minute. My heart rate does not feel like it's at 135 though. But really what made this evening workout worth it was catching up with friends, which is one of the most important protocols Huberman mentions for your brain health. The quality of our social bonds dictates much of our quality of life, that our brain and indeed much of our entire nervous system 
is wired for social bonds. Time to dim the light, guys. Huberman wears blue light glasses from a brand called Roca. I use a cheap brand from Horrocks, which still does the trick. But what's more important is following the intentions behind Huberman's action. So I make sure all my electronics stay outside of my bedroom, except for my Kindle, which I make sure the brightness is low and is the warmest tone it can get. To dial it up a notch, I change all my lightings to red. Yeah, I thought that was cool, but um, yeah, what do we do next? Now, 30 to 60 minutes before going to bed, Huberman takes magnesium threonate, apigenin, and L-theanine. They're like the perfect combo to help you relax your brain while making you fall asleep faster. And to transition into sleep, Huberman says he reads a book for 30 minutes on top of his A sleep mattress. Now, I'm gonna additionally put in earplugs, but Huberman also says he uses nasal strips on his mouth to promote nasal breathing, basically to look smacks. Nasal breathing, good. Mouth breathing, bad for craniofacial development. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up now. Uh, I'm going to try and get eight hours of sleep, which that's what Huberman recommends. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. I'm not gonna sleep with the light. Good morning. This is day number seven. Getting up is a lot easier and I'm actually starting to love this morning routine except for the cold exposure. Here's some proof. But I feel like the first few things of the day are really setting me up for success. I never realized how important a couple of actions can set up your whole day. Today I got a pretty good decent recovery score after following Huberman's routine. So we're going to run in the morning. All right, we're gonna start our run in three, two, one, let's go. So the only different thing we're doing is for our forward ambulation, we're doing a 10 mile run and we're also getting to see the sunrise. It's a little late. Usually when I run, it's usually dark, but I was trying to get the camera set up and everything. So it took a little time, but yeah. I felt like my oxygen level was going up, which led to more brain power during my first deep work session. I felt the blood pumping into my brain, but in reality, I wanted my blood going to my biceps. So we're here to lift some weights. The method that Huberman used to maximize muscle growth is to apply this three by five protocol. It involves doing three to five exercises for three to five sets per exercise three to five repetitions per set, and three to five minutes of rest between each set. And he makes sure he keeps this workout one hour and below. After two deep work sessions and two workout sessions, on some days, Huberman finishes his day off in the sauna. This is because by heating up your body in the sauna, your body is going to cool down a lot faster, meaning it makes it a lot easier to fall asleep. But on a side note guys, like I went to the gym this afternoon and I came back this evening and I swear, I'm seeing the same people. Like, does that happen to you guys? But anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. YouTube thinks you might like this video, so go check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.